Hello all, today we are going to see how the Socrative.com is helping us to measure our teaching as well as the students understanding. So we have to type Socrative.com and click enter. So we will be coming to the, the console of the Socrative.com tool. So first we will try to understand what the console saying. So this is the K-12 up to the K-12 or higher education or corporate, the plans. Uh, so this is the corporate plans. So generally the, the Socrative will be used by the Socrative.com, Socrative tool used by the corporates to train their uh, employees uh, to understand the level of the employees, level of their employees. At the same time, higher education institutions also, they are widely using this Socrative tool because such an innovative tool, this one, and we can use from the KG to K-12 level also. We can use it for the science, maths, or arts, or any social, or any subjects. So there is no bar, even HR, marketing, any kind of the subjects, no bar. We can use it for any such a, a versatile applications. Now, if you want to start with the Socrative, you have to click on the sign up for free. So here we have the free version as well as the paid version. The pro version also available by paying or the free version also available. So there is some the differences of applications or services given to the free users as well as the paid users that we will see that. So initially we can click on the, uh, the login if you have the account. If you don't have the account, you can click for uh, click on this button. Okay. Now uh, we'll see. I click on this one. It is showing choose a plan. So what plan we can choose? So here is the plans. You just click on. You can see the plans. See these are the plans. And Socrative is a sign up for free. The fifty students maximum can attend for one activity. One activity in this is one quiz. If I am in a faculty, I am a teacher. I am floating a quiz. I am creating a quiz. That quiz can accommodate fifty students at a time. That is one classroom or is one activity. So how many activities can be launched at a time? The free is so only one. That can be considered as the public room. Okay. So one public room, one activity will be done with the 50 students that is the limit for the free account and uh, space race assessment the space race assessment in the same way uh, you can give the small uh, the quiz to the students so instantly it will be calibrated as a group you can divide the students as a group you can give the test to the students and we can analyze which group are doing very fast and which group scores how much and individual scores as well as the group scores also can be shown to them it's a the funny way the fun way we can engage the students and the one more thing is there is a on fly the questioning on fly questioning uh, just like that instantly we can ask the questions instantly we can get the answers so that is on fly um, uh, we'll see we'll demonstrate one by one that will be very interesting and the next one is a pro version this is 60 dollars per year and uh, 20 Activities can be done at a time. 20 rooms, 20 activities. So each room is 50 students. So how many students totally? You just you just see 20 into 50, 1000. 1000 students can be accommodated as a smaller groups. 50, 50, like 20 rooms, 20 activities can be done. Or the same activity can be done in the different rooms. So overall, 1000 students can attend. So this is how the pro version giving uh, the enhanced service to the paid users at the same time we are coming to the hundred dollars per year in the corporate um, uh, people generally using this this is 150 students per room 150 students can be accommodated and the same way 20 public rooms and 20 activities also can be done without confusing which quiz should goes to which department which students goes to uh, should be accommodated in which room that confusion also will be avoided with the help of this Socrates. Socrates will be supporting us to maintain without any confusion. So such a way it is giving services we can use any one of that. So you can choose uh, free users you can use the sign up the free version. So you have to give your information your name your email id and you can confirm and password also you can give some password. That's it. 
by giving the next button you can go on okay so right now i have i have one account so i am using the login okay so just login it is showing what account you have i uh, want to enter as a teacher otherwise you want to enter as a student the teacher having the privilege to create a quiz and launch a quiz but the student can enter only to attend the quiz so he need not register he need not give their email id just student login you see just i'm selecting this it is showing that room name only room name by giving the room name we can they can enter into the quiz so that is how it's very simple to the students you see you can simply share your uh, the room name just like a class code in google classroom so that the classroom code can be given to the students they can using with the help of that they can enter they can do that now i am the teacher so i am clicking this uh, the teacher login right so see into the room so here you can see w e 8 g 47 r so this is my this is the room code so you can share this code to your students using telegram or whatsapp or sms or even mail any way you can say this code you can share this code to your students so that they can take that code they can use that code to enter into the room so uh, the live quiz can be attended by those students so live in a sense you have to switch on the quiz otherwise they won't find any thing for example you see i am using this code i am taking this code and uh, subscribe now i am using the student uh the student login now i'm typing the code what is the code w e 8 g 4 7 r okay now i'm joining that's it simple just credit.com it will be giving that panel to enter you have to give the code you see it is showing i already entered in the room right right now waiting for the next activity to begin there is no activity launched they entered the classroom is vacant there is no teacher there is no class is going on okay so this is how they will be in case if you are launching any quiz they can able to see that okay we try to understand the console of the socrate first screen right after entering into the room as a teacher so here we can see the menu items launch quiz rooms reports and results the launch is nothing but you can launch a program the quiz or you can create a quiz or you can go to the rooms different rooms so this is how it is showing and you can create i'm stopping this okay right so the quiz and you can see the rooms because as we are the free users we have only one room if you are pro users if you are clicking that it will be displaying all the rooms so that is why it is not showing any rooms the reports in the sense you can see the reports already completed the completed test results also can be easily seen with the help of this a uh, reports okay the results if a quiz is going on lively you can see that here one more thing you have to notice that in socrative if you are browse otherwise if you are idle for a couple of minutes automatically your account will be logged out so one second you have to log in so that is the only uh, thing you should uh, keep in your mind okay so that activity is supposed to be happen you should not be idle so that is what it is the meaning okay right now if you are coming to the launch you can see the quiz space uh, space race and exit ticket if you are clicking this quiz you can create you can launch the quiz uh, three different ways one is a instant feedback one is a navigation we'll see right so this is all about the quiz and if you are coming to the space race that just now we use that space race and next one is the exit ticket so this is also same kind of test but at the time of yet of your section you can launch they can attend the test and they can leave of the session so this is all about the socrative and one more thing 
if you want to create the quiz you can click on the quiz and uh, here you can see already existed quizzes are there you can make use of that quiz by selecting you just click on the add quiz so that you can create the new quiz or you can import the import in the sense you can get from one of your colleague by getting their code the test code or you can import from your excel file the the template provided by the socrates just now i shown that and this one is a create new so if you want to create a fresh one you can click on the create and you can give the title of the test i am giving test 1 this is a test 1 sir title of the test and assign align quiz to standard which standard you want to any standard already exist standard or any specific subject you can choose that you see if you are selecting math subject and uh, which you want to create the common traditional otherwise integrated or which what kind of high school standard whatever it is you can select it and you can mention the grade also okay so algebra and to which standard you want to use according to your standard you can do that that is optional you just go through that explore on your own way and see accordingly you can fix it otherwise you can simply cancel that is not a big issue or we can uh, keep it as off okay that's optional and enabling sharing so this is the code i am mentioning that if you want to download a uh, existed quiz that is created by your colleague you should get this code if you are getting this code you can download that quiz into your room so that you can give it to your students okay so you if now right now we are creating a quiz that quiz also going to have this as a code you can share this code to your colleagues so that they can download from their room this created your quiz okay so if you are disabling that even if you are sharing the code they cannot download like that you can get the code and you can download you can make use of that right by default it is a on state now the creating the quiz in the three different questions can be adopted one is the multiple choice another one is a true or false another one is a chat answers now i am uh, just for the sample, we'll be creating a quiz. So the quiz name is already given test one. Now here we can give some name. Mm. Bangalore. Okay. So if you want to add one more, you can add. Mm. Hyderabad. Okay. If you want to add one more, you can add and here you can add any pictures you can show the pictures yes so this picture is added here relevant to that picture also you can ask and uh, next question i am going to use as a true or false so just click on the true or false so what is the answer it's a false so we can give the false that is the answer and if you want to give any explanation here you can give the explanation or simply we can move further you can go to the short answers now the third one okay so a uh, you can go further or you can save and exit see you can give save and exit now one more test added there's a test one created today and this can be downloaded for your uh, purpose using the pdf format or you can share the questionnaire to your student you to your colleagues okay so for example if you're clicking this it will be giving some link it will be creating some url this can be copied and this can be shared with your colleague using various ways email otherwise whatsapp otherwise whatever may be the media you can share that so they can use this link so the complete questionnaire will be downloaded to their use so this is how we can uh, associate with our colleagues to conduct the quizzes so this is all about the quiz so here we are launching the quiz coming to launch and click on the quiz i am selecting one from the existed one quiz one and saying next the next step is instant feedback quiz navigation and teacher paste so this one is the instant phase or uh, instant
feedback open navigation so here i want to go with the instant okay or uh, we'll go to the navigation we'll see how the students are changing their answers i'm selecting these request names and shuffling questions shuffling answers okay and uh, the show the final score i don't want to show the final score now i'm clicking on the start button now uh, the quiz has been launched now i'm coming to this place i see already five members are there in the class now the quiz is going to start we will see how the students are attending you see uh, the students are already joined their name also display and uh, their percentage they are just entering into the the quiz we are able to see this they have started to give their answers simultaneously the quiz is going on it's a 33 percentage and shreya uh, so this one is 100 percentage so first question is 100 percentage how many students attended the first question all the students have attended the right answer so here one student marked and the false answer so that it comes down to 67 percentage so that is what the percentage uh, could be understand now if you are coming to the student point of view this is a 33 percentage she attended uh, ramya attended only one question out of the three questions so 33 percentage now you can see the other students other students also started uh, um, enter their answers now we are able to see the second question 67 percentage this is the 100 question you see lively we can see the how the students are attending the test at the same time how many students are there in your class this is six students right so this is how it shows the name as well as we can hide the answers or we can show the answers at the same time we can see the results now this is the results so you see the signal also showing the wi-fi signal also showing that it is the the quiz is in live okay so that is the status if you are coming to the reports you can see the reports once the quiz completed then we can see the quiz uh, results reports okay so that reports also can be forwarded to the students individually if you are uh, having the pro account otherwise that is not possible right the still the test is the quiz is going on uh, so this is how the quiz lively we can see so i am finishing i am finishing this i finished okay are you sure you want to end the current activity yes i am close the activity i will be giving another one so here we can see the response as well as this one this uh, screenshot also can be taken and uh, can be forwarded of course now i am going to uh, take that face from another room here we have another one as a quiz one and one more thing is here we have here and i want to take the quiz from import import so what is the import i am going to choose the file that file is already there in the desktop i am downloading that it is being downloaded and added into a list we have to follow the same format then only we can do that now i am selecting this and uh, I'm going back to the launch and this is the quiz and I'm selecting the Excel quiz and next and this is the navigation instant feedback we will take the instant feedback and we can say the shuffling questions and shuffling answers and we can start but before that before that we can give the code of this coming back to this now i can see the 10 questions the 10 questions the students are already started to attend the test is going on they might have received the instant the responses the code of this uh, the live the display also going on so we can see this right
the students now the 15 students are there they are attending 15 students are attending and the answers also we can uh, describe the answers we can understand like the class the class questions see if the all the students are attending the wrong question in the sense there might be some wrong understanding in the particular answers the particular question so we should uh, see the question otherwise the topic is not understandable by the students so that we can fine tune otherwise we can give uh, ad we can address the same topic in our next class if the students are not even attending in the sense that might be the out of syllabus or something wrong so such a way we can fine tune our uh, the class performance also from our side as well as the performance of the students so this is how the live session is come uh, understanding we can give the reports so if you are going to the reports we can see that already we completed one test quiz no so that can be taken you can see the rest of the students see the score was this one the score of this student the score of this student 33 percentage this is a zero percentage this one is a 33 this one is a 67 percentage so this is the score of the particular students like that we can understand once the completed of the test now i am going back to the and the results page there's still the test is going on see we can we can give uh, the test as per our willings so this is the test but uh, once i i am showing that how i'll be showing uh socratic quiz and uh, and just look at the just have a look at it so this was the test presently currently the students are attending you see the template already given by the Socrative. So based on following that, I started. See this question, the third question. You see, if you are coming to this place, you can see the third question. The third question is this one. It is not showing any uh, green, green or any percentage. So here we have to correct it manually. Otherwise, we can see that and at the time of the results declaration, we can add appropriate mark percentage. Okay, so this is the question the presently students are attending. So we can take the, the template and we can give the name and the questions you can choose the question one is open ended or multiple choice. The open ended this one is a open ended question I have chosen. The Excel is a product of they can write anything Microsoft, MS, uh, something like that they can write. No, so this is an open ended question. I simply mentioned Microsoft just for the hint for the students and the remaining are uh, uh, all mcps mc the multiple choice questions so these are the multiple choice and correct answer is given here in case of uh, something you see this question is a critical uh, a type of a question what type of chart is useful for comparing very values over categories we can say bar chart or column chart so both are same both are the correct answer so that is why i have given erc whether the E also will be considered as the right and this also considered as the right. So this is how the test is going on. So let us see how many students are attending. Uh, so far it is uh, 12 students. Uh, the students of 40 percent, 100 percent, 90, 20 percent. Like that still the, the test they are taking and this student 100 percent completed and uh, here also you can see. So the instantly the students also getting their marks and so this one is a progress and this one is a score and this one is a score hash see how many questions the five questions correct one two three four five so five questions the student um, correctly answer so these students uh, chosen the seven questions so no question is adding this one this manually we have to add and accordingly we can go to the percentage Wise also we can see how much percentage they score and the progress. This student 100% completed, this student 60% only completed. So like this we can understand this. Okay, so now I am closing, finishing. Okay, are you sure you want to end the current activity? Yes. So this is how we can end. So quiz is in the sense, 
and the quiz generally consists of multiple choice questions and true or false questions and short answers okay so this is how if you are clicking the space race the space race also the same way you can float a quiz and you can say next there are two stages to launch a space race quiz i am selecting this i am selecting this i am saying next and uh, so once we are coming to the next stage we can say the teams so what are the teams you can select the teams you can select the teams for example the one is here and uh, auto assign other is students choice student choice also we can give otherwise auto assign also we can specify simply we can say the student choice okay i'll be going with the student's choice now and uh, we can say the name required and shuffle the questions shuffle answers and we can say start okay so start so if you are saying this the students will be able to you see these are the students choices these are the five uh, these are the different type of icons given the blue magenta the lime so like that if the students are attending the test automatically which group student they can choose any one of the group so that that the the progress bar also will be showing how many students are attending and how the test is going on uh, now how many students are attending how the students are giving we can see that the students the two students are there in the group and we can notice the students also will be attending see one student has chosen the blue and uh, they are answering see the progress is going on uh, right now there are 12 students in the room so this is how this is how we can divide the students as a separate group right so this is how the progress the space race will be helping us to conduct the same test same quiz in a funny way so we can finish okay so are you sure you want to end the current activity okay i stopped and we can come back to the reports we can see the reports see these are the reports we can see just click on this and we can see this is the response of the students okay and if you are coming back you can see another responses of the previous test so this is how we can take the and we can see the test as well as we can send the responses to the students okay i hope this socratic tool will be adding more value to your uh, the classes and to engage the students in an innovative way and uh, uh, this will be very very helpful to fine tune how extent we are reaching the students that also can be monitored parallelly thank you